Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we have a new launch of lip products to share with you. <laughs> Today what we're doing guys is we are trying out the brand new FMG Glimmer Lip Glaze which in part I'm a little sad about. I believe it's going to replace these babies here, the Crave Lip Glosses. These are so fun and these are so beautiful. Uh, I am a little bit sad because I mean <laughs> they are flavored lip glosses and I have four of them. One I think I already finished but um, yeah these are just really great but anyways Unfortunately, out with the old, in with the new. So here we are. Today I have two different shades to swatch and test out. I'm going to be testing out the scent of it, the texture of it, as well as some of the key features and benefits of this product. I believe this product is launching in campaign, I want to say campaign 20. I could be wrong, but anyways, it's coming soon. It's either here or it's coming soon. And the regular price of these are $16, but often they do go on special promotion, especially when they're just being launched. So if you want to check out what the shades are, make sure you do go to the link in the description box below low to check it out. These are nine milliliters each and there is in total eight different shades. Everything from a what looks like a clear just shiny finish all the way up to like more like a reddish br uh, yeah like a reddish type color. So there is a nice range. Not as big of a range as the Crave unfortunately but there still is a decent range with the different colors. It is a sheer to medium coverage. This is a gloss so I'm not going to expect for it to stay for the entire day. So I do expect to, I'm going to have to reapply this a few times during the day and that's perfectly fine. Uh, basically for me it's as long as I know what to expect I'm pretty cool with it. But the feature of it is that it's supposed to have a beautiful glimmering luscious shine and it's supposed to be a non-sticky creamy formula so you're not going to get like type of a feel. It's supposed to be smooth lip hugging and it does say that it's supposed to last for hours so I'm still going to be up for a bit of time yet so I will be testing this out and giving you an update before I go to bed tonight. It's also free from parabens, talcs and fragrances which is Actually, it's a good thing too, especially if you have a scent sensitivity. Um, and then also, it is formulated with vitamin E for the antioxidant benefits. You can wear these a couple ways. You can wear these just on its own, or you can also pair it with your favorite lipstick or your favorite lip liner if you want to kind of amplify the color of it a little bit more. You can also just put a little teeny tiny dab right in the center of your lips to give you that beautiful pouty look, right? That juicy lip pouty look. Uh, it just kind of gives, it shines a light to a little bit more just to kind of like whoosh, bring more attention to the center of your lips. So here we go. Without further ado, let's swatch these. So the two shades that I have today is Flash and Glisten. I guess they, they both have a bit of a shimmer to it. On first look, it almost looked like as if the glimmer is almost like a, a little bit more of a creamier finish than the than the flash but it's I guess it's not because I guess with further look it looks like there are some of the glitter in it so we will see and let's open these babies up let's do the flash first it's a really pretty color I think it's gonna be really 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 nice let's give it a sniff test I don't think I really smell much to it but you can see that it's already starting to come out a little bit but look at that shine. It looks almost like a pearly shine. Let's do a quick swat. Ooh. Wow. That's really pretty. Wow. That's like super duper pretty and super creamy, huh? Wow. That's actually a lot more pigmented than I expected it to be. So that's a flash. I'm going to do half and half for you guys today. Oh, oh, oh. It's very similar to my natural lip color. Oh wow, it's not sticky at all. Okay. Doesn't feel like it's making my the skin of my lips like together. Mmm, very moisturizing actually. Oh, I really like that. That's actually a really pretty color. Ooh. I like how shiny it is. I don't 
I think I just smell the product and not a fragrance. So I don't believe that like there's no like added fragrances or perfumes to it. And it feels really nice. It's just like Wow. Okay, very cool. That is piece. I need to do another lip scrub. So now let's do the glisten. Let's do a quick swatch first. I am so impressed how how pigmented it is. It's actually more orangey than I thought. I wanted to look kind of like a nude. I squeezed too much. Okay. You know what it feels like? It feels warm. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like it melted on my lips. There. That's what I want to say. It feels like something has melted on my lips. You can barely tell the difference, but you can tell it's just like very, very, very light the difference in color. I am loving this side though. The flash side, it's really pretty. And the the glisten side, it's it's okay for, for me, for like my own skin tone and stuff, for my own personal preference. But I mean, I could see if I want something a little bit more nude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I want something more nude, it definitely would work. I think this side's a little bit more useful. Yeah. All right, let's take a taste test. Yeah, I don't need it. Doesn't taste bad, doesn't taste good, which is good because I'm not gonna, not gonna lick my lips all day long. Which I was kind of tempted when I had these. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna keep this on for a bit. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. Yeah, you can tell it's not transfer free. It's definitely going to transfer, which is fine because it is a gloss, but it feels really nice. It looks really, really natural. It just looks pouty, which is, <laughs> I like it. I like it. It just kind of like, just kind of gives you that little bit of like a mm -hmm, type of a lip look. I'm really loving the flash side. Mm, yeah, no, I, I, I think they both will have their days. All right, I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna do some editing work and keep sipping my tea and stuff and we're gonna see how this lasts for the next little while uh, before I go to bed. But overall, it is a great product. If you're looking for something that is shiny and probably a little bit more versatile that you can pair on top of your favorite lipstick or you, know, you can pair it on top of your favorite lip liner, it's comfortable. Again, the texture just feels like Something kind of just melted on my lips. The taste of it's like, meh, it's okay. It kind of like fills your mouth with, with a taste, but I can't pinpoint it. It doesn't taste, it, it doesn't taste gourmet <laughs> as a foodie, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't taste bad. And I like the fact that it is formulated with vitamin E, so that will be have antioxidants benefits. It'll be healthy for my lips, healthy for the skin because the, the skin is a lot thinner there. So you do want to take care of your lips. And if you are looking for a product that is free from fragrances, talcs, parabens, and something that you can build. Now, I don't know how I would build this, to be honest. I can try putting another layer on. Let's see. Are you kind of hard? Yeah, I, like you could do that to give it more color. Yeah, you could, I guess. It, it's definitely, it'll never be a full coverage, which is a gloss, so it shouldn't be. But I don't know if I like that feeling of so much product on my lip. However, for a gloss, I would definitely reach for this if I just want something like quick, like on my lips and go. But the side's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. All right, so I want to work for a bit. I'll be back in a bit. See you. <sighs> All right. It is now about 1.30 in the morning and I've been wearing the lip gloss for about two and a half hours and it actually still feels really, really moist. I have pretty much finished my entire cup of tea. You can still see that there is a little bit of coloration on there, but it still has a nice shine to it, which is making my lips look more voluminous, which is really one of the main goals of a gloss, to give you that beautiful high shine look. My brain is fuzzy now because it's so late. Anyhow, overall guys, I am happy with this product. It feels really, really nice. Like I said, it has like this kind of melty feeling to it, which is really nice. 
it wears well. You can build the color. I didn't really like it when I did two layers so much for me personally, just the, the feeling of it. It just felt a little bit too thick. If you're interested in seeing all eight shades, make sure you do go to the link down below in the description box, guys. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a notification. I do have new videos up every single week and you never want to miss one of those. If you have any questions about starting up your own online Avon business, make sure you reach out to me on either Instagram Instagram or Facebook so that we can chat. Guys, because I am always here to help. All right, this Dancing Avon lady is calling it a night and going to bed. I love you guys. I'll see you next one. Bye.